All right, we're back at it with Beyblade. Welcome everyone. Another video. Um, yep, still not got the laptop fixed. It's all going to be phone based at the moment, which is probably why there uh, likely isn't a particularly nice uh, thumbnail for this video. But it doesn't really matter. Let's just get into it. You will have seen it. It's right here. You've seen the title because you're on the video. Death Solomon. Um, the newest and the final actually piece in the Super King series. Um, I've been thinking a lot and I think I'm probably going to do a video just talking about Super King as a whole. Um, props and slops, that sort of stuff. But today so it's all about Death Solomon. Um, yeah, I did get this a few days. I got this last week, but I haven't, um, I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, just uh, decided I'd wait and then do the video and now it's the weekend. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the newest in the Super King series. You can see up here, oh, there it is. Um, hopefully you can see that. Death Solomon 2B. Um, now it is Death Solomon. I, I, I've got to say, I didn't know that this, this uh, symbol here is pronounced with an S. I didn't even know that it was that until it came, because if you look online, um, it's all spelt with an S, Death Solomon, not Death, whatever that is, Solomon. Um, so we've got the Death Ring. This is not new. I believe we've had this in Random Booster. Uh, what was it called? Death, oh, Death uh, Diabolos, of course. 2B, uh, this is a bit of a beast, as we know from Spriggan. So the Spriggan chassis is in here with its free spin, uh, or its optional not free spin. And we'll see actually if this one free spins or potentially doesn't free spin, we'll see. Uh, for the base we've got Metal Fusion, so we've got another Metal Driver. And that's going to make up this whole base. We're going to crack this one open, have a little gander. And uh, yeah, we're going to just see if there's a QR code on the bottom. No, there's not. Is there a QR code inside? Let me just uh, see off camera. Okay, we're going to do that now, just so we don't have to worry about it. Let's put that at the back. And it's not a random booster, so it's not covered in, it's not black colored plastic. Let's get the card out of the way. So here it is, Death Solomon 2B with Metal Fusion. Let's get the sellotape off there. You know, all know how much I hate ah, that single-use plastic. I didn't bring any um, any sharp objects to here we go to open things with, which was super smart, of course. You guys just watch me. Uh, I'm feeling not particularly strong today because. See, I work in fitness, so you'd think I was strong, but what it actually does is it just makes you tired all the time. <laughs> and my hands are just like, eh. uh, yep, there's 2B. Seats looks very different in the uh, red than it does with the uh, sprig and sort of orange and gold. Here's the death top. Oh, wait, what? Does my other one look like this? Hmm. Now apparently, I think there's something about this where the chip is rare, but I am not entirely sure. Oh, whoa. Okay, right. I think I understand why, what the point is of this um, Beyblade. So I have, I have dabbled, I've dibbed and dabbled. And I do mean dib and dabbled. I haven't really done much, but I have dibbed and dabbled in competitive Beyblade setups. Now, if I'm not mistaken by looking at this, I'm going to say that these bits here being metal, is going to add a lot of weight to this chip. A weighted chip in competitive, <laughs> such a weird thing to say, competitive, competitive bay blading. Um, in, yeah, RL competitive bay blading, bay, bay blading, excuse me, is a big thing. Uh, this ring, yeah. So it does feel actually quite heavy. So what I was gonna say was, um, yeah, this is pretty dope. Pretty dope. I wonder if you can change this for a heavier piece? I don't really know. Is that getting too try hard? Probably. But yeah, um, that's pretty sick. So, actually, as far as, this is the thing, right, is that this is not 
like I think I, I don't think we've had a Solomon chip in Super King this isn't new this isn't new I don't think this is new but even if it is new it's not really good uh, yeah fusion if you're not sure it's basically a flat sharp from metal flights which it's flat with a little point on the end but it's got this metal bit um, I haven't had a chance to, I haven't really been bothered to look to see if these metal drivers are any good or not uh, I would assume just from the bottom that they're not just because they, there's nothing about them there's no I don't think there is a good version of a metal driver I should say so yeah um, like I, said, I was gonna do a bit on Super King we we're gonna talk about that a little bit but I'm going to assume that this is the most important piece in the whole box, uh, this chip, because it's got that metal in it, it's got the weight. Just I'll quickly put it all together. And I do, I, I do apologise. I feel like I'm wasting everyone's time because I'm just dicking about with it. Right, so that's okay. It looks like it's going to be no moving, no matter where it goes. Okay, it's fine. Don't really matter that much. Okay, there we go. Death Solomon, 2B Fusion. Uh, it's just a metal fusion as well. I really like the Death uh, Ring. I'll be interested in doing video, um, some some little uh, matches with the Death Ring specifically. But yeah, let's um, stick her up. Look at it again, and then we should probably actually get some matches. Right, just just quick one while I'm doing the stickers. Uh, you, probably, you might be able to see here. There's a tiny little sticker on the end of this, right? I've got to get it in there. Takara Tobi, you are jokes, mate. Look at this. What the? Look at this. Oh, can I? I don't, don't, I'm not actually playing up for the camera. The camera's not in my way. Oh, look. See that? Fluke, right? And do you know what, right? This is bittersweet because I don't know if you can see it on the camera. This dot here is slightly red and this one's purple. I did it the wrong bloody way, didn't I? Right, I put those on, then realised, and I was like, oh, no, I can't get it off. So, um, yeah, they're the wrong way around. I did think about putting it the way and just going full mix, but um, no, I didn't. But yeah, that's just a quick one to say. Oh, see, I've got another one to do. This is ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Takara told me you are mm -hmm. well, you're scum, mate. <laughs> you're scum for doing this. And and um, one of the older deaf ones, right? You put the sticker in one of these. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I thought the old Hasbro ones were hard, you know, when I'm um, trying to get the line in Ultimate Frosted Dranza, bloody hell. But this, that, that is unnecessary. That is unnecessary, mate. You should be ashamed of yourself, whoever designed that. Absolute joke. Right, stickers are on, finally. Here it is. Uh, let me put it together again. Nice. It's kind of weird that they put 2B with this one when it can't even spin. Um, stickers, what? Oh, I haven't done them yet. Right, I'm going to stick them on and then we're going to get in some games, okay? We're going to smash them up. Alright, we've got some, uh, lots of absolute beasts. We've got a few, Fra where is the, oh, there it is. We've got a few Frankensteins as well. Um, if you've seen any of my videos uh, with competitive combos, then you will have seen these Frankenstein Beyblades before. Um... The only two that, oh, I've got three regular ones actually. We'll go with these three and then I'll put them over there. And then one, two, three regular ones out of the box. This is out of the box, of course. This is our Death Solomon. Um, we're gonna try and stick with the string launchers. But as you know, if you've seen my videos before, I'll break them in like two seconds. So we'll just see. Um, round one, we'll go up against this standard King Helios. Yep, standard King Helios with the 2B and uh, it's that Exceed. I think it's called Exceed. If not, I'll just put an overlay and you'll know exactly what I mean. Oh, we'll do a test round first. Let's have a little test spin. Should, 
probably say as well, it did feel, when I picked it up, it did feel like it had a good weight to it. So I'm actually quite excited for how this Solomon chip is going to be um, useful for playing other combinations. Um, yeah, Solomon chip, very interesting, I would say. Um, most of this, to be honest, most of this is pretty decent. The Solomon chip's good. I think the Death Ring is probably underrated. 2B is great, it's just this bottom is a bit pointless. So let's have a quick test match. Let's start with King Helios. Okay, let's get Helios in first. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can tell just how much heavier. Oh, <laughs> it's so much heavier. Wow, okay, 1 0. And Joe, you know, I didn't even get a full spin on death actually. 3 2 1. Oh, 3 2 1 goes 2. 3 2 1 goes 2. Oh, a bit of scrape. Oh. Death is actually able to get under quite well and create a good upward attack. I think it's slowing him down. Oh, it's the No, okay. One to one, a bit of extra life from that base, definitely, for Helios. I say one to one, but of course new rules coming soon for Burris is that actually the ring out is worth two points. Which does make sense for the stadium, because there's only really one ring out area there. Go shoot! Shoot! Oh, whoa! King Helios, um... Wow. Okay, nice. That's the first one done. Well, we'll stick with standard stuff. This is actually a standard uh, Super Hyperion. I've just got the other colored 1A on it because it's somewhere else. I don't know where it is. The red 1A is somewhere. Oh, it's here. Oh, no. That's not it. Well, where the hell is it? Okay, I have no idea where red 1A is, it's somewhere. Um, weird. Oh well. Alright, it's where it gets awkward, so I only got one. <laughs> Such an aggro baby. <laughs> Chill just went from like <laughs> five to zero in <laughs> like a second. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> oh. Alright, sorry. Alright, let's set it now. Three, two, one. Two. Three, two, one. spin left but it's still one what the hell all right well it can't it hasn't won yet uh, let's try rage longness oh, I've changed my destroy dash for a standard one just because I was using it for something else and then I took it off and I thought well that color matches at least so that's interesting all right here we go three two one Death's in three two one Claiming a win against Rage. Good stuff. Alright, round two, three, two, one. Oh, it's great. It's as if the actual the weight on Solomon seems to be like helping it against heavy rage. Ah, not there though, the base sucks. Alright, one more round. We'll get Raging first. 
Here we go. Oh, wow, okay. I think it pretty much just scraped itself to a loss, so currently it's 3 and 0 uh, oh and 3. 0 <laughs> oh and 3. Now we're going to get against our Frankenstein combinations. Oh, here's my destroyed Ash. So this is going to be a, a bit of an attack combination here. Looks like we've got. Um, uh, yeah, it's Hollow. I, I think that's Diabolos. It's. It's one. It's the one that changes between left and right. I'm pretty sure it's Diablos. Uh, it looks like it's got one S wheel destroy dash. So powerful combination here. I think it's actually heavier than Death. It's crazy because I thought Death was super heavy, but oh well. Three, two, one. We're in, and we're out. Death takes the first one. Pretty convincing, actually. Just stands its ground. Two, two, one, we're in. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, wow. Whoa, that hollow ring just does so much, just such a big smash. I think especially when you're in that low um, RPM range, I mean, said rev range, yeah. when you're on a low RPM range, the the smash from the hollow ring just feels like so much heavier. Let's come again. Oh no, straight out. I mean, technically that is a double win for death, but I'm going to run it one more time. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay, so this is supposed to be like a combination that people are trying competitively, and it's the only one that death has won so far. <laughs> Alright, coming up next, another hollow. Um, this is like hollow Hyperion. No, yeah, hollow Hyperion. This is, oh, there it is. There's one, there's the 1A, my red 1A, and this is, uh, I believe, Extreme. That's the extreme base, and I might change it quick as well. So we'll give this a quick. We'll give this a quick go. <laughs> Pun. Nice. Oh, Jesus! Bit of a weak run for uh, death there. And yeah, it's really on paper. I think my thumb. I think my thumb actually caught this as it was going out. So we'll run that one again. Give it a proper rip. Go shoot. Go shoot. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, this extreme base is extremely aggressive. Uh, we'll go one more. We'll swap it around. See how it goes. Maybe that'll happen. Okay, I think for the sake of this uh, base, I'm gonna have to death in first. Oh, okay. Okay. I've lost kind of track, I feel like it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, let's go baby, let's go. Can death be too cock? No, I don't think so. I think death's done. And it's done. Okay, well, at least Hollow got some revenge. What have we got here? Okay, um, so we got Tempest. Whoop, Tempest Spriggan. Two is that two A or three A? Two A, and um, that is the oh God. What is that called? The one from um, GT Achilles. Should remember the name of it. So, 
Tempest is um, pretty powerful, I, I think. I didn't think it was when I first got it. I thought it was a bit crap, but um, yeah. That's wrecked. Tempest Dragon wrecked. Um, Alright, we've got. Uh, this is World Lucifer 2B, and this is the the stamina base. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called. Alright, here we go. Get him in there. Oh. Yep, yeah, nope. You know what? That was on me. <laughs> the contact on entry, I don't think that should uh, any yeah, counts, right? Try it again. Ooh, okay. So definitely the base from death is not as good as the one on Yeah, anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's what I expected. Let's go again. Oh, so, no. The wrong Beyblade. Gotta do the other one, right? Gotta start with death. Death comes first. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright. Both using 2B. One of them differently to the other one. On the <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got wrecked. Okay, last thing we're going against here, Mirage. Yeah, it is Mirage Fafnir with its own um, 2S and Drift. Love Drift. Let's give Death. Oh no, he's less fit. Mirage Fafnir cheated. <laughs> I think he cheated a bit. Um, what, how, how is it? How is it with this Beyblade? Like, like, it's so loose, but it never bursts. Like, what is that? What is that about? Someone probably knows the answer to that. Uh, it's not me. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, here we go. Here's your one. Oh, okay. Bit of redemption for death. Right, let's try um try opening Mirage. Ooh. Wow. As Owen Wilson would say. Wow, took him out. Final one, final one. Whoa, scraped. Ooh, yeah, I think that's done. If I was a better man, I think life after death is going to be low. Yeah. Well, it um, it only actually beat this this version of Hollow with with the wheel and Destroy Dash. Um, everything else destroyed it. So in conclusion, Death Solomon out of the box isn't very good. Um, do you know we should do uh, some weight. We should do some weight testing. I've not done that much, but we should definitely do that for this Beyblade. 
Okay, well, it went pretty much as expected. Death um, Solomon isn't that good out of the box, no surprises there. But I did notice, as I said, that it was quite, it's, quite, it's pretty heavy. So I'm going to test the uh, theory here that this thing is a bit of a chunk. If I bring this in, I'll drop this down there. Okay, that's a great angle. Great angle there. 70.3, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty heavy. Um, let's try this one out. This is Rage Longinus, 68, so it is heavier than Rage. Rage is known to be quite heavy. Um, let's try this Tempest, uh, oh, well, 69.4, okay, okay, heavy. Um, here's Super Hyperion. 61, so we're talking, wow, we're talking like almost 10 gram difference between Super Hyperion and um, Death Solomon. Um, Helios, yeah, even less, so there's even bigger difference there. What about, this one's quite light, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Whoa, whoa, what? 66? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what I was like. Um, why don't we try out this hollow ring with wheel? 73.1 whoa whoa okay that's actually the heaviest i never really weigh and i never really weigh them 69.2 um so yeah just for as well i just want to see what the i think it could be a lot of it a lot of this is in this chip so i'm just gonna take the chip and see how we're doing chip wise Exactly six grams. Now the heaviest one I think that I have is Lucifer. Is Lucifer. Lucifer's here on this world ring. So let's take Lucifer. Six grams to beat. Ooh, 5.53. So yeah, I, I think this is, where's uh, Diabolos? Diabolos is quite heavy as well. Brigan. Ah, here we go. This hollow ring with destroy dash. Diabolos on it. Let's just quickly grab it out. Six grams to beat. Well, it's even less. It's four. So yeah, death. This Solomon chip. I think this is the heaviest chip that we've got right now in the Super King series. So that's pretty interesting to know. It's going to be useful for creating combinations. While I've got these um, bits apart, let's just have a look at what the Death Ring 9.9 .9 compared to Hollow. Jesus! <laughs> That's a big boy. Oh, what is um, what's Rage like then? I wonder if you take the chip off. The Longest chip is not particularly heavy. You could probably swap the Longest chip for the Spriggan or even the. Um, Diabolos chip, 14.5 as well, so they're pretty heavy. What's world like? Nine. Is that lighter? 9.94. 9.92. Okay, they're about the same. So that's pretty interesting to know. Um, yeah, so actually overall, I suppose, yeah, if you are really wanting to find that, that the ultimate combination, um, <laughs> you're probably going to want to get a Solomon chip or two because they're going to make a big difference to the weight of the Beyblade. I say a big difference, I suppose two, but, and when you put it all together, if I was to take this now, put it onto this hollow, um, put that with the 1S, wheel, and destroy dash, I've got the chunkiest, yeah, 74 point, I mean, essentially 75, comparatively, Excuse me, Helios Burn, which is pretty heavy in itself. 72, yeah, so we're breaking over. I mean, this, the, the limit break ones are quite big, but 75 grams, that's hefty. That is a hefty baby. I wonder if the um, these metal bottoms are actually heavier as well. So we can check that. Here's Destroy. What happened there? I run out of batteries. 
Oh, that's um. Six point six seven. Seven point seven. Yeah, so it's over like, over a gram difference when you got these metal bottoms. But again, I wish the there was something worth playing that had a metal bottom to get the weight. Anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for this video about Death Solomon. Do please stay tuned. With my computer broken, recording bait, uh, Pokemon is really difficult at the moment. Well, essentially, it's impossible. So probably not going to have any Pokemon for a little while. So I'm going to have to shift focus. I will do videos about Pokemon, but not in the same way that I've been doing, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Do please give it a like, a comment, subscribe. Um, if you find the time, if you're interested, I've got social media stuff. Particularly, I'd like to build up something on Twitter, because I have like four followers on Twitter, which is pretty pathetic. <laughs> um, you should find a link as well to a uh, small plug on eBay, which has Pokemon cards that um, I don't really necessarily need. And it would just be nice to kind of get them moved on so that I have money in my PayPal account to buy other Pokemon cards that I want uh, in Beyblade as well. Um, it's not about, I'm not sort of posting it as a uh, let's get rich sort of thing. It, they're not they're not particularly collectible Pokemon, they're just sort of spares and stuff. So um, yeah, if you want to, I mean, you know, take a look. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Either way, no harm, no foul. Uh, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Have a great life, I suppose. <laughs> and see you again soon. Cheers.